Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, what day is it today? Oh, yeah, it's Saturday. It's 11 p.m. It's time for a lucky bag unboxing. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, we went out uh, earlier and we uh, went to Akihabara and uh, we did a little bit of uh, running around and uh, trying to find last minute lucky bags. We got lucky with uh, a couple of them and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. But also at the end, uh, we do have a special gift that was sent to me by a special, special sister. I can't wait to open it. And thank you, Indy's mom. Good evening, everybody. Uh, we are um, getting our whiskey going on. It is Saturday night, and uh, we got uh, one, two, three, four lucky bags. Two of them, I know the contents, and uh, a box, so thank you. Ramsey Silent, uh, thank you for being here. Auntie Leanna. Uh, Jen Sutherland, good morning, or good evening, I mean. Uh, good morning. Oh, yeah, it's like morning over there, isn't it? Uh, Ramsey Silent, um, we were first, and thank you. John uh, Hugh Lockhart, good morning. Vin, uh, good morning. Mindy's mom, my sister, thank you very much. I was so happy to get the box today, but at the same time, I'm just, uh, my heart goes out to you. Um, we love you. You got this community support. That's for damn sure, and uh, stay strong. Mom, how are you? Thank you for being here. Jeremy, my brother, how are you? Nancy, yawn in the house. SoCal Mod Squad is here. That is pretty freaking awesome, and uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, Mambo. Hi, Auntie. How are you? And my other sister, Star Jen, over in the UK. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Mm. Hi, Tomoel. How are you? Uh, Station 240, Ran Trevor Random. How are you? Debbie McKee. How are you? Say hi to John, please. Not John Lock John Hugh Lockhart. John McKee, your husband. <laughs> hey, Cosman. How are you? God damn, it's nice to see you here. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, sorry, I just, I just need to have this, it's my first sip of whiskey in a while. Hey, Robert Wallace, good morning, brother, how are you? Hmm. If you're wondering what I'm drinking, I'm actually, even though it's a Jack Daniels glass, um, I'm drinking, uh, a triple cask, uh, Jameson's. It's kind of my, you know, I've been drinking a lot of Hibiki in the last, uh, year, year and a half, and, uh, well... I think I have to find something a little bit cheaper to drink, right? Uh, but no, it's uh, something in honor of my grandfather. Um, it's an anniversary uh, this month uh, for my grandma, grandfather from years and years and years ago um, on an achievement that he uh, had in the Royal Canadian Air Force. So uh, yeah, I'm drinking Jameson's because that was his favorite drink. So. All right, guys, let's get uh, straight down to the nitty-gritty as I'm saying hi to you. Uh, Wonderlust, uh, Wonderlust uh, how are you? Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love. Uh, you're welcome, Indy's mom. Broke down, has some Taco Bell delivered. Oh, my God, Jeremy. Really? Really? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you do not know, if you've been hiding under a rock, yes, Jameson's is good, Ramsey son. Fukubukuro. Um, so... Again, Fukubukuro literally means lucky bag. Uh, it's derived from the Chinese characters um, Fuku, which means luck, and uh, Bukuro, which means bag. So lucky bag. If you didn't know that, there you go. Um, since I'm just reading uh, pretty much what I wrote in the description here, but since its inception in the early 20th century, uh, Fukubukuro has become synonymous uh, with New Year's in Japan. Um, originally intended as a means for shops to sell off excess inventory, uh, these lucky bags typically contain merchandise sold at deep discounts in order to attract customers. Now, before we get started, um, you know, I found an article and uh, I just wanted to uh, share this with you because I thought it was kind of interesting. 10 tips 
for smooth, lucky bag shopping. And tip number one, ladies and gentlemen, go to the frickin' store in L.A., Tokyo Town, whatever, at 6 a.m. and line up and be first in line. Does that sound familiar to anybody? <laughs> hey, Peppo, how are you? <laughs> Um, but no, they seriously, they said, uh, when in doubt, go for food. Oh my God, really? Uh, they always say go for food. Uh, cause you know, I heard, I heard somebody went and lined up for like two or three hours in California and they got like a hundred dollars worth of Japanese food for 20 bucks. A pretty good freaking deal. Uh, know your size. If you're going to go out clothes shopping, which I don't buy clothes in Japan, but I do have a clothing Fukubukuro uh, lucky bag with me today. Uh, it wasn't Little Tokyo. Oh, okay. Wow, well, I thought it was, whatever it's called. Um, but uh, yeah, know your size. Do your research. Uh, this is one thing. So like, you know, are you looking for cosmetics, coffee, tea products, things like that, electronics, clothing, whatever. Um, sometimes shops list the products that they actually have in Fukubukuro bags now. Uh, earlier today, I was in Akihabara, and um, I was talking about Village Vanguard. Uh, well, Daniel, uh, I promised him because he super chatted me uh, to go to Village Vanguard. Hey, Raphael, good morning. Um, and after talking to Crit Critical Eats Japan, he sent me a link on Instagram of what Village Vanguard was actually selling. And I watched uh, Critical Eats Japan's uh, video also. It's shit. About three years ago, you probably saw one of my videos. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Um, I got a, a, a Fukubukuro bag or a Lucky bag, and it was filled with crap. But it was crap that I actually enjoyed. Well, kind of. It ended up mostly in the garbage anyways. Um, but this year, they just basically got set... Fukubukuro bags, and it's just, there's no lack of, it's a lack of surprise. I didn't like that. Uh, so I, I'm not going to bother. Uh, shop for family and friends, of course. Uh, plan accordingly. Expect courteous crowds. I'm going to read verbatim what it says here. It's hilarious. If this is your first Fukubukuro shopping experience, you can expect Black Friday crowds without the violence and drama. <laughs> if you manage to arrive early, you will see shoppers waiting patiently in line. When doors open, people will speed walk, but running and shoving is very, very rare. And that is actually really true in Japan. Very polite. Oh, there's Crickley's Japan. How are you, brother? Uh, thank you for that uh, that link because that stopped me from going to Village Vanguard. Plus, you know, seeing your uh, video, like I could not believe Paul that in that Fukubukuro bag was that stupid laundry thing that we could go and buy for whatever, right? Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was a bit. Meh. So I got. I'm not going to go. Organize the post shopping swap meet. There are a lot of people out there that do swap meets and try to resell things and yada, yada, yada for things that they don't like. It happens. You hit that website called Wish. You know, we can buy all that shit. Or Mercari. You can sell things on Mercari or Yahoo. A lot of Japanese do that. They're just selling all their Fukubukuro or their lucky bag stuff. Meh. So, and then learn the lingo. Uh, there are a few words that you could learn. So I just wanted to share that with you uh, to um, start off. And randomness too, good morning or good evening or wherever you are. Cheers. All right. So I always get this one every year. I'm pretty sure you all, all know it because it's in the thumbnail. Hey, Kick and Pickles, how are you? But this here is uh, this year's collab of uh, Pokemon and Mr. Donut. This here is the 3,300 yen uh, box. Uh, what you get inside, plus you get, you get 30 donuts. 
Now, you're probably asking yourself, what, Drew, what are you going to do with 30 donuts? Well, I have two, two things I'm going to do. Either I'm going to eat them all. Sounds pretty good. Mukbang video, if Fang was here. <laughs> um, but seriously, what they give you is um, these little cards here. Uh, if you can see that properly. I got two of them, 15 and 15. And every time you go buy a donut, um, it's the value has to be 160 yen or cheaper. So do the math real quickly. 160 yen times 30 is what? $48, something like that. Is it? Almost, yeah, 48 bucks, I think. And um, there's the value right there. I paid 33. Basically, I got $48 worth of donuts right here. Done, right? Hey, Nick R., how are you? But let's open up the box here. And uh, I like the box. I really do. I wish I could send it to somebody if you are a Pokemon fan. But uh, as we look inside here, I will just start pulling things out. Actually, I don't even have to pull it out. It's already, it's already packaged. This is what I love about Japan sometimes is the fact that, well, I could flatten this box and mail it to Stargen. <laughs> they keep everything nicely organized. So, um, yeah. And honestly, when I, go to, when I go to Mr. Donut, I get the Crawler Donuts anyways, so. Or the other Honey Glaze. I'm not a very big donut person, but look at this. Things are always easy to open in Japan. Always easy to open. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're getting here. So first off, it looks like we have some sort of like a, a cute little, you know, some sort of a case here. It's pink. I wanted the blue. It means I have to send it to a girl. Ah, damn, got the pink one. Uh, but yeah, you got like a light, nice little case here. Probably worth what? Worth what? A buck or two from the dollar store kind of style thing. But it's got Pokemon. That's one. A clear case. Not sure what I'm going to be doing with this. But yeah, we can. Hey, believe in yourself. How are you? You get it like a, they they send this every year, and this is like a little uh, roll of masking tape or. Sticker tape or whatever it is. Yes, Feng would love this, by the way, Jeremy. Um, looks like we have uh, a little tote bag, I guess. I don't know if you guys... I don't want to open it just in case I decide to give this to somebody. Washi tape. Thank you. I couldn't think of it. Uh, but you can see here, um, it's just a bag. I think it's made kind of like water... Not waterproof, but you know, plastic. Nezuko's Nana. Steelers! Huh? <laughs> um, and then you have a 2022 calendar, which I don't use calendars, but, uh, you know, if you're into calendars and Pokemon, hey, hey, Nighthawk, how are you? You know, hey, Nicolette, how are you? <clears throat> and then the piece de resistance, I think, is the best thing in this box is the 2022 calendar book. Even I would use something like this. So, um, yeah, in a cloud, Mr. Donut, and, uh, and of course, Pokemon. It's not bad. Now, of course, you know, I have the calendar here. Um, again, I have the washi tape. I have the clear case thing. I have a pink bag, even though I wanted the blue one. Kind of, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we are in coronavirus times and stuff. Here in Japan, I'm pretty sure everywhere in the world, they charge us two to five yen for those plastic bags to put our groceries in. This will be good for take, you know, going over to the grocery store, putting your groceries in this, right? That was definitely worth the price, wasn't it, Mindy's mom, right? I'm good, thanks for asking. You're welcome, Nicolette. But I think this is uh, what I really like, so... <laughs> Got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Maybe I'll do a prize giveaway for this whole Pokemon set. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, for me, honestly, 
I think the piece of resistance besides the uh, calendar, obviously, is the freaking donuts. I pay 98 cents for a reusable bag. Hmm. Yeah, it has good stuff, right, Star Gen? Um, it has, uh, obviously, the value of the donuts. And the good thing is, is like it's got the barcode on the back. Don't copy it. Uh, and you just beep. And, uh, once you get down to zero, the card's no good. You throw it away. You give it to them, whatever they're going to do. And away you go. So that is the first, uh, Fukubukuro box, uh, lucky bag that I got. <coughs> I want to open up these, these, cause we're doing Pokemon right now. And these were today in Akihabara. Um, the donuts taste better than the bag or the calendar. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know Pokemon, okay? I'm opening them up right now. Are you kidding me? That's it? I paid $5 for this stupid box. Five bucks. You guys were with me live this afternoon. I got three cards. <laughs> three cards. Okay. All right. Number one is this card. I have no idea. I hope you guys can see it on camera. Not sure. Can you see that? I have no idea who it is or what it is, but I got this. I got some white card. They're kind of flashy too, but uh, I got this. Gold Duck. Is that who that is, Jeremy? Jeremy, might, some of you guys might know who these are. I got this. No idea. But this one looks interesting to me. It's green. It looks good. I don't know. I could probably be wrong. Who knows? Hey, John McKee. How are you, brother? And I got this one here. No idea. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. I'm trying to look at the replay as I'm going through. No idea. But... Um, yeah, I got this one here, and uh, I wish they could uh, tell you the value. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, I'm going to probably send these to Fang. He'd probably like them. Maybe I should send all the Pokemon things. If I had Pokemon underwear, post on Instagram? Okay, maybe I should do that. I'll take pictures of it and post it on Instagram. No idea. That's a foil. Probably each pack has one of those. I have over five dollars in cards. Oh yeah, you think so? That's a foil because it's shiny. I have no idea, but uh, yeah, we got these out of the vending machine in Akihabara. So, uh, yeehaw! All right, better keep, put those away and keep them. And they only come in this like this little box here. Hula hula upa hula upa. I'll drink to that. Cheers, everybody. Well, I know because it's shiny. All right. Uh, next up is uh, clothing. Fukubukuro. Uh, this one was a little expensive. I paid $50 for this. Um, but as you can see, I already know what's in it because it's clothing. They are for a card game where you collect cards to make decks and battle with them. Hmm. So, again, you can see. What do you see here? Huh? Huh? Um, of course, this says uh, Fukubukuro, lucky bag. I uh, haven't opened it yet, but um, this was actually bought. Yes, those hologram cards are good to get. I have some old Pokemon cards of Josh's here. Sell them! <laughs> uh, I went to Sakazen, uh, which I call Fat Man Store. Um, and uh, basically... You know, you could pick uh, a, a set of uh, clothing. Now, because I am six foot two, 260 pounds, um, it's very difficult for me to find shirts, dress shirts in Japan. Uh, I am a member of um, Aoyama uh, suit place. Is it Aoyama? I think so. Blue Mountain. Um, and, uh, but I, this was actually from Sakazen. 
And uh, because I have like a 92 inch, no, 92 centimeter. <laughs> 92 inches. Oh, yeah. Duh. Is it? Yeah. Um, sleeve and a 46 to 40. Well, I'd say a 46 to 48 centimeter neck, uh, which would be kind of uh, comfortable. <laughs> so, um, yeah, basically, I'm just going to uh, 50 bucks. This is what we're getting here. So, um, I don't know. I actually picked out the tie. He let me exchange the tie uh, for whatever tie that I wanted. I wanted something red. Uh, if you do check out my Instagram, I've been posting myself every day uh, wearing my suits um, and ties. And I think I'm going to be doing that quite regularly. Um, but uh, this is uh, b and Club. It's not very expensive. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't like to have... This is by Hybrids Traveler, but a tie. What's that worth? 10 bucks? Right? It comes with a belt, a leather belt. They don't have the actual prices on it. It just says genuine leather. But the reason I liked it is because of the belt buckle itself. Um, so I got to mix and match uh, with the guy. <coughs> I would never wear a bow tie. Never. And uh, then I got, uh, these are 5L, so 5 lar extra large, whatever you want to call them. Um, I wanted just a uh, single white uh, dress shirt. These are all long sleeve. Uh, the sleeves are 90, 88 centimeters, 90 centimeters. So they're about two centimeters, a little short. I like to have my dress shirts a little bit long. So that they're kind of hanging outside of my suit jacket itself. But um, you can see there. I don't know if you can see it. It says 5L right there. Right there. Do you see that? Do you see that? 5L. Batman star. Mm, there you go. Um, so I got that one. I wanted something a little bit different. I This is a kind of a light blue. Um, I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see the pattern on this very well or not. But... Um, I wanted to go something different than stripe um, or just plain white, something along those lines. And that is B&T Club also, big and tall, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and then I got um, a blue with a white uh, pinstripe kind of style thing. I needed a new one of these. Uh, I have a suit, black suit uh, and tie combo that I wear with a, a shirt like this. Now, here in Japan... Uh, and anybody that wears suits for a living, uh, so on and so forth, you could probably pay up to 50, 60 bucks one shirt. Um, I know that uh, at Aoyama, when I go uh, suit shopping and dress shirt shopping, I'm paying about $45 on average for one dress shirt. 50 bucks, three dress shirts, a tie, and a belt. But that's not all. That's not all. As I was walking out the door, I saw another shirt, a white shirt with purple pinstripe. And it was on sale for 30 bucks. And the guy looked at me and said, I'll give it for 20. Sold. So I spent $70. And uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of a clothing Fukubukuro uh, bag. I think it's a great deal. I, I personally think so. Um, and of course, you're going to see Instagram photos. But this tie... This is my first red tie ever, ever. I have orange, I have green, I have grays, I have my Gucci tie, I have my LV tie. I have all these ties. I literally have like 40 ties. Seven suits, eight suits. And I had one dress shirt, which I have to throw in the garbage after I open up these because I have my marble cigarettes and it stained my shirt. So um, yeah, that's uh, pretty good. I think that's another good deal. I would probably put this, I paid 50, I paid $70 overall. I would probably put this at about 120 to 100 and, 120, 120, let's just say $125 value. So I got a great deal on this for sure. <laughs> All right, next up, this is, uh, 
This is the one that Jeremy, who's in the chat, told me to get. Uh, paid $20 for this. I have no freaking idea. A shirt, a belt, tie, but no pants. I guess that's cool, Piss. <laughs> hey, Paul, you have to wear a shirt and tie every day, don't you? I don't know. Do you actually wear a suit suit to where you work? Or can you kind of biz cash it out? Me, I, I wear a suit, tie, you know, the whole kit and caboodle, right? Don't own a tie at all. Really, Peppo? Wow. Damn. All right. Jeremy, we got the knife. And I've been drinking. Uh-oh. Hey, Simon from Dublin. How are you, brother? Hattori Hanzo. Come on, what? Should I just hack at it, Jeremy? Are you here still here, Jeremy? Or are you enjoying your Taco Bell? No tie? Really, Paul? Damn, lucky you. I think I need to sharpen my X-Acto knife. I don't own any ties anymore. I used to have a large quantity of Star Wars ties. Damn, hey, Cadiman Cadden. That's a hard name. How are you? Thank you for being here. Shorts in the summer? Oh, you rat bastard. All right. I'm, I'm opening it up here. I'm kind of telling it. I'm botching this, man. Doing it the juice style. Okay. Here we go. I'll do like Paul did in his video. The bag was here, and he's he's reaching in like this. Okay, we got... <laughs> All right. Help me out, guys, because I... Oh, wow. All right, the first thing we got up is some little key fob thing. If you know who it is, shout it out in the comments. Smash that like button. I would appreciate it. We have 20 items. 20 items. We got some dude with red hair. Hmm. All right, next up, it looks like we got a towel. Carrot top, right? <laughs> looks like we have my hero Momo Yaoyorozu. Little towel. I have no idea who these people are, but all you anime fans out there, I'm sure that you will know who these are. And of course, a little button. Hmm, interesting. I'll pack it all up later. All right, we have oh, kind of like a little uh, pencil case or something like that. Nah, pretty cheap. But you know what? They're all worth a dollar. What the hell are these things? Let's open one up, see what they are. Onigashima jeans. It's like little banners or something. <laughs> it's wasabi. <laughs> oh, it's interesting. Yeah, I guess they're like, you know, like that on the side there. So, hmm, okay. We have, I think they're like, oh, it's open. It was opened. Oh, that's cool. Whatever it is. Hmm. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but uh, that didn't help. <laughs> Are you guys familiar with all these products? Because I sure as hell ain't. Mini wall scrolls for lockers. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Hold on. All right, let's push this off to the side here. I'll go through here. Oh, this is cool. I like that. Because I like buttons. That's pretty cool. Ooh, All Might. Hmm. I'm going to dump it all out and I'll show you real quickly. I'm not familiar with any of this stuff, but uh, Itsuka Kendo. Like a fridge magnet of some sort. Hey, Two Stroke, how are you? And again, a, a button, of course. Uh, more buttons. A lot of buttons. So, hey, you know what? A button's got to wor be worth at least a buck. It does. Three buttons right there. 
more of these. Uh, they keep opening these things. Oh, this is pretty cool. Same kind of thing here. What can I do here? I'll, I'll put it on the back of this here. Something like that. Am I doing that right? Yeah, kind of. Um, it looks like I got about an, another one. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why they've opened them. But uh, whatever these are, I think they're pretty cool. I can make a set out of it. Not bad, eh? No idea. Hmm. More buttons. Who's this dude? Mezo Shoji. <laughs> I have no freaking idea. Mezo Shoji. Would be like four to five bucks a button. Yeah, absolutely, right? Um, I don't know if these are stickers or what they are. These are all my hero, uh, whatchamacallits. Kind of interesting. A little see-through something or other here. Again, oh, I, I really like, these are heavy. These are good quality. This is, uh, Denki Kaminari. Denki Kaminari, whoever that is. Looks like, oh, I got a coffee coaster or something. Again, um, yeah, this is, for me, I'm not into this stuff, guys. So kind of interesting, but uh, like little little things like that, right? Uh, another coffee coaster. Another button. Oh, I got postcards. Oh, cool. The postcards now, I like the postcards. Finally, something in this bag. Lots of cool things, good find. Oh, really, Star General? Good. Bye, Mambo. <laughs> Usually about 30 minutes into the live stream, the kids wake up. Bye, Auntie. Thanks for uh, hanging out as much as you can. My Hero Academia. This is Ochako Uraraka. Ochako Uraraka. And then this one here is Kyoka Jiro. Kyoka Jiro. So, yeah, you know what? Okay, let's count. Oh, and there's this too, whatever the hell this is. Animate Cafe Special Collaboration something. Levitate Girls. Okay, so we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 different items were in that bag. They said 20. What a great deal it is. Absolutely, right? So there you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, uh, let me just put it back into this bag real quickly here. Uh, that's not a bad deal. I'm not into like all this anime and I should study up on it onto it one day. But um, you know what? 25 items, you know, even if they were at a dollar a piece, 25 bucks. And we know that they probably charge, you know, like $3.99 for probably this piece here. So that's like, you know, eight bucks right there, you know, kind of style thing. I'm sure. That this towel here would probably be anywhere from four to six dollars by itself in the store, brand new, you know, still in the packaging. Uh, the buttons are probably a buck or two, so it is actually a pretty good deal. So I like that. I like this guy though. This dude is pretty cool. I gotta say, this dude is pretty cool. Drew, do a Patreon auction on those? I should. You never know. All right, next up. Uh, our last Fukubukuro box. But before I do that, uh, I'd like to take this time <laughs> just to talk, to, uh, just to promote Patreon, of course. Uh, I do have a Patreon. Uh, we have PayPal donations. We have Emoji Club and stuff. Um, I want to say thank you to all my Patreon members for helping to support this channel, for all the PayPal donations, for the Emoji Club. Emoji Club goes to charity. But I just wanted to show you, um, in January, we started the uh, Ukiyo-e um postcards and um to be honest i'm getting my mail outs done tomorrow or monday 
I'm starting to get all the, po the, the envelopes done. The box is already packed. Um, but I just want to give you an idea of uh, the postcards this, sh this year. This is just one style of postcard. They're glossy. So uh, this is from a uh, local uh, Yukioe uh, art dealer um, who sells postcards. He sells big prints. He's got, he's got a print in his store worth tens of thousands of dollars, which is hundreds of years old. So the store is legit. Um, he invited me in. He said I could film one day. And not only that, ladies and gentlemen, but I've gone out and bought hundreds of these cards. And just to give you an idea, real quickly, um, look at some of these prints here. Aren't these gorgeous? These are absolutely gorgeous. Some are glossy and some are uh, matte. So these are pretty nice cards. I'll just go through them real quickly. So Patreon members, you will be getting... Uh, these starting uh, this year and uh, love the carp love the carp and you can see on the back here they are authentic uh, postcards if that's what you want to call them uh, this is one of my favorites I think I'm gonna have to keep this one but uh, yeah I, I literally like beside me I have a stack of 300 of these postcards <laughs> Um, so I made a deal with them. I bought, originally I bought about, uh, what was it? 80, 96, 96 postcards. And then I went and bought another 204, um, the other day. And, uh, yeah. So if you want to sign up for Patreon, uh, become, you get postcards depending on the level, whether it's every month or, uh, whatnot. Um, so yeah, I just want to share that with you. So thank you. All right. This is the one that uh, we were in Akihabara with, of course. And uh, this is the, who is this again? Miku, somebody or other, I have no idea. Um, this was originally $30, and it had a price tag on it for $20. Um, so yeah, let's just, uh, I guess I'll try and be nice. I'll try and be nice. Hatsune Miku. There you go. I think you were the one that told me earlier, Paul. Also, I can't remember all these things. I'm old. But you know what's funny is I can name 100 whiskeys. Okay, not really, but... All right, let's see what we get here. I better not cut myself. If I cut myself on a live stream, that would not be good. See, if I wasn't planning on not keeping the bag, I would have just ripped it off. All right. Oh, I need a drink. I get tired. The one you're waiting for? <laughs> mm. All right, let's dig in. I know there's a box in here. So... Second season winter version. I have no idea what this is. It's sealed. I don't want to open it. Uh, I knew it. Did I? <laughs> Mindy's mom would love these. <laughs> I don't think Night Riders go. Freaking rabbit gloves. These are, or whatever the hell they are. They're actually mittens. This is hilarious, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Oh. Okay, there's a surprise at the bottom. Looks like a, like a little JJP Productions. Good morning. Do not open it. It will lose value. Thank you, cousin. Um, you know, you put your pet bottle or whatever you think about, you know, something like that, right? Mm, yeah, these, these things. But the bottom has, I don't know what these are. I got two, four, six. I got six of these things. What on earth are these? Do you guys know what these are? They look like freaking eggs. 
since Hatsune, I literally got these. So I have no idea what these are. They're heavy. They probably got like little... Oh, 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 it, I can, it opens up. Put it up to your eye and look inside. I can't see nothing, Paul. Tachyon Archive. They're Tenga cups. <laughs> Must be like a little doll inside or something. They're pretty heavy. But it looks like if you press on this, like, can you see that? It pops up a little bit here. Like, it pops up. So, no idea. Surprise eggs or something. <coughs> Is this worth uh, the 20 bucks I paid? I think so. <coughs> I bet you this thing here alone is a $20 value. Uh, I'm going to research this. Second season winter version. Mm. Hatsune Miku. Interesting. Hey, my cock. <laughs> my cock, my cock, my cock. How are you, buddy? Um, so, yeah, got this. Uh, these are cute for women. Probably closer to 60. Mm. These are cute. I got to say, these are freaking cute for women. Little utatang, little rabbit gloves or something. Or I don't want to open it, but... Now Miku, oh, they're 2019. It's a couple years old, right? So, yeah, that's uh, the Fukubukuro, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I got to say, like, even this one probably, that's pretty good quality. It's, um, it's not plastic. It's actually, um, ah, it's a cloth material on the outside. Uh, $31.99, thanks, Critical Eats. I'm pretty sure you just Googled it, right? Um, and, um, like it's cute. Girls would love this. It's got the little clip here, you know, so on and so forth. Pretty cool. And then, yeah, whatever these are, I'll figure out what these are later on. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is the Fukubukuro. But I have one more, one more box to open. Uh, you need to wear those gloves Monday morning to work. <laughs> Hey, Mike Hawk. Mm. Holy shit, Garrett Stevens? Who the hell are you? I don't know you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Garrett, how are you, bro? Miss you, man. I hope you're doing well. I heard you've changed jobs after you left us. And um, what are you doing? Your worst nightmare, I know, right? Ladies and gentlemen, Garrett Stevens is in the house. He's a, a, a friend, well, was a friend, uh, but a great co-worker that I worked with for a few years, and I miss him terribly. Uh, Garrett, cheers, bro. Seriously. Ah, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I, I got 30 freaking donuts here, man. Should I... Do a mukbang and beat John McKee's record. I don't I don't remember how many donuts John McKee got to. 14? John, if you're still here, how many donuts did you eat that day on your live stream? Or your video or yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, guys, Garrett is actually in one of my videos too. Uh way, way back when. We were tramping around uh, Meiji Jingu uh shrine with uh Another friend of mine, Gordon, co-worker Gordon, and Stephen, I think it was. Uh, you guys have seen Stephen, one of my managers. And uh, Garrett was there. and That's when Garrett gave me this hot sauce. You guys have seen me have it. It was the, the mango salsa hot sauce something, burn the hair off my ass. He was the one that gave it to me. Mm, just saying. Mm. 12? Oh, okay. No, I'll kill myself. 30 donuts? Mindy's mom, come on now. I can eat 30 crullers. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Mindy's mom sent me... Oh, it's heavy.
I've, oh, I hope I didn't show my address. God damn it. Um, I always do that. You know, it's funny. And this is mango and chili peppers. That's what it was. Thanks, Garrett. It's funny how uh, when people send me things, they write my address all over the cardboard box. But we don't do that in Japan. Well, at least I don't. You know, we fill out the nice paper, and then that's it, so on and so forth. So um, every time I get a box, I have to, like, I can't just throw the box out. I can't, I got to, like, cut it all up and try and get, you know, disguise my address and yada, yada, yada before we throw it in the garbage. But uh, Minnie's mom, thank you. I, I really appreciate uh, the support. Um, I am very appreciative of it. I have no idea... So the first thing I did is when I got here, um, I um, took off, you know, sometimes they have the contents of the box. I didn't even look. I just ripped it off, threw it in the garbage. I really do not know what's inside. I really do not. You always do that. Sorry, we have to put your address on top of the box. Do you guys really have to do that? Oh, okay. Ujual Parik, how are you? All right, I'm going to try and open this box uh, nonchalantly without showing my address. Ooh, did I hear a bottle of alcohol in there? The signal stuttering? <laughs> Mindy's mom would not send me anime collectibles. Okay. I'm trying to... God almighty, I hate opening boxes. What the hell? So I'm trying to do this without showing my address, of course. I hope there's nothing breakable in here because I've turned the box around a hundred times now. All right, I'm just trying to get the top part done so that, oh, there's a, ooh, there is a sticky note already. Open from the bottom. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, Mindy's mom. She sent me a sticky note. Yes, we have to put it in the center of the box and return and, and return in the top left. Really, eh? I don't know what you're talking about. Stalling. Um, I do see a little bit of a blip on the replay. Drew, where is your dog sleeping? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see uh, what interesting things Mindy's mom picked out. Now, if there's one thing in here that's not here, I know it's here. I know it's here. Aww. All right, we got... Cheetos. Well, we know who these are for. Baked. Never seen these before. These are perfect size, Mindy's mom. You know that. What did Mike Hawk say? Does the sticky note say open from the bottom? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wow. We got two. We got three of them. Um... Okay, I don't know. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mindy's mom. <laughs> now I understand what you're talking about. The ponytail cap. That's cute, though. That is cute. Cute. <laughs> oh. All right, I'll give it. I'll give it to her anyways. So uh, I'm so sorry. Oh, never be sorry. Never, never, ever be sorry, Mindy's mom. My God, look at this. Oh, Chrome Dome, dude. Whoa, this is my. This is freaking awesome. Oh, yeah. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, I wear Pittsburgh Steelers things 
every day from September until February. You notice, you ever notice in all my videos, I'm wearing something Steelers, usually this hoodie. I wash it every other day. This is freaking awesome. Oh, I have a black and yellow one. But a total black I don't have. Oh, oh, this is Overreacting? No way. Oh, I like this kind of little band here. Oh, this is awesome. Damn, yeah. What's this? No shit. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. This is... I got to not swear. Yeah. And they are Iowa colors at the same time, too. Steel City football, baby. And I'm from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. And we are called Steel Town there, the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Steel City football, Pittsburgh. Steel City football, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Oh, thank you so much. Where is your terrible towel? Uh, it's right there. I just can't show you. But literally, DeConnor and Fran... Gave me the terrible towel, which is over there. I have a closet full of Pittsburgh Steelers stuff. Literally. I got, uh, I think it was Bayou Otaku, I think. He got me the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers uh, chef's apron. Oh, see, I saw a glitch too now. Whoever was saying, talking about glitches and stuff. I just saw that now too. Ah! Oh. got Gozaimo stuff. We're not done. We're not done, ladies. Huh? This is funny. <laughs> this is what I love about the community that we have here on Totally Drew. <clears throat> we can laugh, we have our ups and then we have our downs. But the genuine love and care we have for each other and for me as the YouTuber is amazing. Now, I'm going to show you this. <laughs> Hand sanitizing wipes. Wet ones. Oh, and I got Tropical Splash wet ones. Okay? But it says here, she, she, Mindy's mom loves her sticky notes. For you to keep in your backpack to keep your hands clean. How thoughtful is that? That's amazing. I would never think to send somebody something like this. And they're a lot better than the hand wipes they have here. Thank you so much. Freaking awesome. Now you gotta remember, ladies and gentlemen, that I gotta put these in my backpack and I gotta use these on live streams. Remind me, ladies and gentlemen. That is awesome. Right, kicking pickles? She did. She did. We're not done. Last one with the box. Oh, it's heavy. Whoa. Okay, this is what I kind of expected, but I didn't expect this. Um, it says here, I laughed when your chat message said that the package had better include chocolate. Be careful what you wish for. Sticky note. <laughs> okay, it's heavy. I am scared now. <laughs> you just made my day. Oh my God, are you kidding me?
<coughs> Cream egg, anybody? <laughs> oh, one is broken. One, one has broken. It's chocolate all over the box. Oh, my God, Mindy's mom. Thank you so much. That is amazing. Oh, and you know, you know what's funny? Is these won't even last a week. It won't last a week. <laughs> Why the hell did I start a diet? Thanks. Oh, Mindy's mom, thank you so much. I, I seriously. Wow, these are my favorite. Nick R. sent me uh, a box of uh, Cadbury cream eggs about a year and a half ago or so, two years ago. And, um, yeah, amazing. Here's the second one. And and Wanamaker. I haven't seen Wanamaker in weeks. He sent me like a whole thing of uh, Milky Way chocolate bars. Somebody, hey, Fang, how are you? Um, are you serious, son? Not even a week? I'm joking, Mom. Two weeks? Maybe? Oh my God, thank you so much. Wow, that is amazing. And uh, bye all. Bye Peppo, thank you for being here. Um, that is, that's just, I, I, I'm shocked. Thank you so much. And this is what I'm talking about, the TD Crew community, um, you know, sharing, sharing their love with me. This is the best lucky bag of the night. Absolutely critically. I'm just going to say, Paul, I hate calling you CEG. Um, that is just amazing. That's what I love about this community. Uh, our Patreon community is uh, very thoughtful and caring. Um, you know, we've, we've done a meetup in Las Vegas, but also, you know, the members are, are meeting up without me. Jason M. went and saw the SoCal Mod Squad. Irvin and uh, Christmas 365 met up. Uh, Vin, Christmas 365, and Nielsen met up in New York. Uh, it's just amazing, you know, that this community over the last two years has come together and, uh, you know, obviously you support me, but at the same time, uh, you've become a lot of friends with each other, and that's pretty awesome, man. Thank you so much. Hey, Jackie, hello, how are you? Good morning. Uh, no worries, brother. When we meet up, we always talk about you. Aw. Hatsune Miku is a close second. Really? Yeah? Think so? Hey, Lynn. How are you, Lynn Kihara? Um, so, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, what, what an amazing... Uh, wow. Oh, God damn. Woo! What other lucky bags? Well, Fang, you're out there. I'm going to have to watch the replay. But, Fang, we have Pokemon cards inside here. Pokemon cards, Fang. Fang, we have. I'm gonna review. I'll review a little bit of it. We have an empty Pokemon box, Fang. We'll only charge you fifty dollars for this box. <laughs> But this is a collaboration with uh, Mr. Donut and uh, Pokemon. But uh, yeah, we got the box. I don't know what I'm going to do with the box. Um, and we got a bunch of Pokemon uh, products here, uh, especially uh, the bag, uh, the, the schedule book, all kinds of different things here, Pokemon. Uh, of course, I got my shirts and ties. And then we got the, who was that again, Critical Each? What is that again? Hold on, I gotta scroll back up. Hatsune Miku um, with uh, some figurines and some freaking something or other, and, and uh, like a little pet bottle kind of carrier, coolie, whatever you want to call it. So, but this Steelers toque? <laughs> My God. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see the first part of the note. Really? I mean, it's bomb. Really? I'm going to Google her later, actually, yeah. Um, I thought I... Hey, Ramsey Silent, remember I sent you an anime figurine out of a gashapon one time? 
Was that the same person, the Hatsune Miku thing? I don't know. Maybe it was somebody different. But um, Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Fukubukuro, it's amazing. <coughs> I think I did pretty good here. I must say. No? Oh, okay. Um, I'm looking, not, not Mindy's mom's box, but I'm probably looking at a value of probably $200, $250. That might be a little too much. Don't forget, $48 just for the donuts plus those products. Um, the shirts would probably be about 125 or so. So we're already talking 175 plus the Hatsune Miku things and $20 at least. So yeah, 250 probably easily. And I paid uh, 50, 80, 100, and 20. So probably doubled in value on all the products and stuff. So I think that's pretty good. She's computer generated. Oh, I've heard about that. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I do want to say thank you. Uh, again, Patreon members, um, I will be posting a video, a vlog uh, style. It'll be season one, episode 12. Uh, I finally edited it and um, got it all going. Uh, we might actually do a public live stream in the afternoon. Um, but then again, who knows? I might wake up, post a vlog, and go live from here for Patreon only members also. So I got to figure that out. Uh, but I want to say thank you to everybody, um, to the community for hanging out and checking this unboxing. I do have to go. Um, Emoji Club, thank you all that are here. If you haven't signed up for the Emoji Club, please do. It all goes to charity. Uh, again, if you want to hang out and uh, join our private community, sign up for Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. You get postcards, you get live streams, you get Discord, all kinds of different things. And of course, PayPal donations are always accepted. Thank you so much, everybody. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Moderators, thank you for taking your time to be here. Keep it real, keep it raw, straight to yourself, because I always do. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.